Rick is talking to some more fans over there. Rick. Keep me out of the social media zone. Don't think so. I'm chatting to some lifelong fans about what they made of the series, what they made of the special episode tonight. Day of the Doctor, standout moments for you. <laughs> Hi, it was fantastic. Uh, what brought it in for me was the possible new dimensions brought in by bringing back Gallifrey and the possibility of Time Lords, extra regenerations, and I love the flashbacks of the old Doctor, the old little hints in for the old Doctor. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see it on TV, but this man's eyes are so excited. Um, <laughs> what about you? Favourite moments in there? Yeah, for me, ever since uh, it, it came back with Christopher Eccleston, it's just been getting better and better all the time. And this was just the pinnacle. It was fantastic. Um, were you interested to see the Zygons back? Was that a good monster to resurrect? It's a good monster. They're, they're great. They can take yeah. on any shape. Quite scary. Yes, yeah. you know, yeah, oh, yeah, you know. uh, yeah, I mean, the face you're doing at the moment is quite scary. Uh, I'm going to talk to this lady now because of that. Um, how long do you think it could go on for? Could it do another 50 years? Oh, easily. I've, I mean, I've been watching it since I was this high and, you know... I won't tell you how old I am, but yeah. Uh, 21, uh, thank you. Oh, I yes. yeah. Plus a few. No, just you. plus a few. Yeah, I went backwards when I hit a certain age. But yeah, I've been watching it for so long, so it was actually quite emotional seeing all those doctors lined up at the end, you know, having seen all of them in, in um, various um, productions over the years. Of course. Uh, and, and what do you make of the uh, the lineup here in the studio? We've, we've amassed some incredible Doctor Who celebrities here. Oh, yes. I'd just love to meet John Hurt because I thought he was fantastic in there. Having John Hurt in it's a genius. So. Slip me a tenner and I'll arrange it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> the Doctor may have travelled the, uh, the length and breadth uh, uh, of the galaxy, uh, but... Has he read our tweets? No, he hasn't. Uh, but we are... What was that noise? Yeah, we're about to have a look at some tweets. Obviously, we are live, so get your tweets coming in. If you're watching this on Catch Up, unlucky. Here they are. Ian Moore says, Baby Daleks hide behind the sofa whenever the Doctor's on screen. That's not bad. Uh, Courtney Hancock says, Happy 50th anniversary to Doctor Who, otherwise known as the only show that can make me laugh right after making me cry. It's quite sad, though, isn't it? Uh, and then this person says, Change their name or... This is a mistake. Happy birthday, Ho. Uh, Doctor Who has taught us how to love, that everyone's important, never take anything for granted, and to never let one second pass you by. I'm going to cry. Uh, so, uh, as I was saying, the Doctor may have travelled the length and breadth of the universe. He's jumped from the, the Big Bang to the end of time, but he'd be nowhere without the friendship and support of his trusted companions.